Hi, I already showed you how to create this effect in my Inkscape tutorials and now I want to show you how to do this in GIMP. So let's get started. I've opened the digital photograph. Next thing I'll do is create a new layer for a background and I'm going to type in here width and also a height then click OK. Next I'm going to go to image fit canvas to layers Let's zoom out. Next I'm going to grab the blend tool, click and drag. And I'm also going to send this layer to the bottom. Then I'll select this layer with the image and add an alpha channel. Then with the move tool I'm going to position it. Let's zoom in. Next I'm going to duplicate this layer two times, then I'm going to click on the new layer option and use the defaults, just click OK, and then I'm going to grab the rectangular select tool, click and drag, and I'm going to type here a size, I want this to be a square, so the width and height need to be the same number, then I'm going to click here to apply the selection and go to edit, fill with background color which is white, Next I'll go to the select menu and select the option shrink and here I'll use 50 pixels, click OK, then hit the delete key, then Control shift a to deselect. Next I'm going to duplicate this two times and turn these layers off. Then with the move tool I'm going to position this frame over here, then I'll use the rotate tool something like this, then click rotate next I'm grabbing the move tool and positioning this now I can go ahead and add an alpha to selection to this layer, then fuzzy select tool, add to selection, I'm going to click here and then control I to invert the selection or you can go to the select invert then I'll need to make this layer active with the image then hit the delete key, then control shift A to deselect and I'm going to turn these two layers off and turn the other two a frame and an image on make him visible and I'm going to repeat the same thing here again I'll position the frame rotate it a little bit then go ahead and position it Again, right click, alpha to selection, fuzzy select tool, adding to the selection, control I to invert it, make this layer with the image active, hit the delete key, and control shift A to deselect, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing with the last frame and image. I need to turn this off and the last frame on. I'm going to pause here to do this. So I did the last frame with the image. Now I'm going to turn all the layers on so you can see them and I'm going to use this option to position each image below each frame and then go ahead and select merge down on each frame. Right click merge down And I also want to move the middle one on top. Now I'm going to add a shadow. Make sure this layer is active. Then go to lights and shadow, drop shadow. And here for the offset X, I'm type 10, offset Y, 10, blur radius 30, and for opacity 70, and click OK. And of course, you can experiment with these options, and you see the shadow now. 
next I'm going to right click on the top layer again select merge down and I'll select the next image with the frame and repeat the drop shadow then merge down I'll do the same with the last image repeat the drop shadow then merge down and we are ready with our photo collage effect using Kim 2.8 so that's it for this tutorial I hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like the video leave a comment visit my channel and that's it for now bye